Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Josh and as you know, I'm on a mission to become financially independent. This channel is all about real estate, personal finance while getting out of debt. And if you like any of that, please consider subscribing. As you guys know, I do have a series about Puerto Rico and moving to Puerto Rico and buying a house over there. And I wanted to continue this series today because honestly, the more I learn about how things work in the States versus how they work in the island, it's completely different. And I understand that right now, especially through what we're living and how many jobs are becoming remote, how many people are deciding to move after the last year that we had, a lot of people are actually ending up in Puerto Rico. And why wouldn't you, right? Puerto Rico has a lot to offer. We are US citizens. The price for houses might be a little cheaper than what you're um, used to. and let's not ignore the fact if you are a multimillionaire or you make a lot of money there's a lot of ways to avoid taxes and that is just how it is right now so you might have seen famous people or a lot of youtubers are actually are moving to puerto rico and i wanted to tell you on a one-to-one -one conversation things that you should be looking out for while you are on that move. The number one thing that I see that is very, very different is the final walkthrough. And I have mentioned this in other videos, but if you don't have a final walkthrough on your contract, that's not happening. Especially in Puerto Rico, we don't really do final walkthroughs before the closing. And mind you, the closing is actually gonna be, <laughs> it, it, they can tell you you're gonna close on a deal 24 hours before it happens. So don't be surprised if you've been waiting for months and then all of a sudden you get a call and you hear that the closing is happening tomorrow. That happens all the time. And I guess that there's not a lot of time for final walkthroughs, not really part of the culture. So make sure if you are very interested in having a final walkthrough versus how it is on the States that it is established on your contract to do so first. The second thing that I see very often is that people want to use their local bank in Puerto Rico in order to get a mortgage approved to buy something in Puerto Rico, buy a property in Puerto Rico. It has to be a lender with a license in Puerto Rico. Usually these type of banks, which is Chase, Wells Fargo, all these big banks do not have a license to do so. And it has to be a lender that's already in Puerto Rico to do so. So we're talking about the bigger banks, which is like First Bank and Banco Popular, which are the biggest banks on the island. However, I do have my opinions about those type of banks. So definitely shop around and see what's gonna work for you best. My third tip and something that I'm very passionate about is that you have to visit the island before you move. That is my two cents because the island is actually a lot of municipalities and what you're gonna get on the north is not really what you're gonna get on the south versus the east coast and the west coast. If you're looking to be closer to bigger cities like San Juan, most likely you're gonna end up in the northeast side or the north side metro area. If you want more of a south feeling, nice beaches very close to the west that's probably going to be where you're aiming to if you want mountains it's probably going to be the center of the island if you want closer proximity you're probably going to see like east coast or like north area dorado area that are still going to be close enough to san juan but not in that area i get this question so often the problem is that if you don't know where you want to live us as realtors cannot help you and it sounds so obvious, but until you not, if you don't experience it for yourself and what works for you and your family, we can't really tell you where to go. I get so many emails about people that have one, have never visited the island. And then secondly, people that want to know where to live. And I would love to tell you where to live, but that's actually going to depend on you. If you put a list of places, that's going to be a little bit more helpful. And be conscious about what you're actually looking for and what's going to benefit you the most. Sometimes you see a place and you think it's the right place, but until you don't live there, until you don't experience the culture, it might not work for you and that's okay. But you kind of have to throw yourself out there and then see what works for you best. My next tip is going to be checking out listings when they're going to say opcionada, which means it's actually been under contract. You have gotten the earnest money and it's 
in the process to be purchased. This happens a lot. It's, it means opcionada. And that just means the house is under contract and you can't really go see it or you can't really bid on the house anymore. With that being said, don't be surprised if you contact a lot of realtors and they don't act as a buyer's agent. In Puerto Rico, even though things are getting, they're changing, still a lot of realtors have the mentality to only be a seller's agent, meaning they're only going to sell you the houses that they have listing. They don't want to work as a buyer's agent. There's a few amount of people that do work as buyer agents and will show you properties that are not going to be part of their listings or their own company, but those people are not <laughs> frequent. You're not going to find everyone to work as a, as a buyer's agent. And it's just unfortunately some something part of the culture that you're just going to have to either find someone that really works as a buyer's agent and someone that can help you out, or you're probably going to have to go one by one with different seller agents. I always think that you need representation on your side. If you are buying and you find someone that's going to fight for you and it's going to find what benefits you the best, but make sure that you're covering all your bases. My last tip on this video is going to be having the patience of Job you're gonna be your patience is definitely gonna be needed in this type of environment we're talking about lenders that are gonna take a while it's usually gonna take 60 days or so and you're gonna find out 24 hours 48 hours before closing that you are closing you're gonna have a lot of realtors that are not gonna answer their phones and you're gonna have to call them 10 times a day that's just how it is unfortunately you're gonna have sometimes issue with electricity or sometimes with water unless you're definitely prepared i always tell people to be prepared if you are buying a house you can opt for solar energy if you are um, if you need internet you can try fiber optic there's definitely options around it as well with condos there's some condos that have generators prepared for type of emergencies um, water tanks and all that so there's definitely options around it I don't think you need to be scared of another thing is with hurricanes people are always like oh how often do, does it happen or whatnot I want you to embrace it and actually think about all the options that could happen but also be prepared for them it's we've survived a lot of things and every every city town country has different things to be prepared for when it comes to nature but just be prepared and just an added bonus tip i really want to talk about embracing the culture embracing who we are as puerto ricans because yes we do belong to the u.s in in a certain matter but at the same time we have our own culture our own language we have our traditions and if you are moving to puerto rico please consider being helpful to the locals being helpful to understand where we're coming from to help our industries grow to be part of us and make a better puerto rico for all of us so thank you so much for watching if you are deciding to buy property in puerto rico or you're looking to sell i'm gonna put my information down below i am taking a limited amount of clients as of right now i'm gonna post all my videos on the description box down below if you want to check that out and until next one i'll see you bye